for the three-seed UAB Blazers, led by Andy Kennedy, now in his third season as UAB head coach. Second straight conference finals appearance. They won it all last year and went to the NCAA tournament as we take a look at our Kubota starting lineups. In addition to Jordan Walker, K.J. Buffett will play a key role, as will Trey Jemison. And the question for Florida Atlantic down low is can they keep Vladislav Golden out of foul trouble? He has been a major presence on the boards for Florida Atlantic when they've been able to keep him up at USA Championship. I agree with Coach Made it that they're in the tournament, but I don't want to take any chances if I'm in, if I'm sitting in his seat. <laughs> you would rather cut down nets, wouldn't you? Rather cut down the nets, it would be a huge accomplishment. Especially coach of the year, best record in the regular season, number one seed in conference USA tournament. So but UAB is going to have a lot to say about it tonight. Nick Boyd draws the early defensive assignment on Jordan Walker. Walker heaves and hits. And he will take the deep three early on. And he's... He's starting where he left off yesterday, especially in the first half. They were up by a mile or two on North Texas to start that game. 32 in the semis, UAB got off to a 22-2 start against the Blazers in the semi. Golden back on down on Jemison. Good rebound from Martin. So late in the shot clock, that's a shot clock violation. UAB gets it started with defense after the Jelly Walker three. And on this three-point shot, you see Golden, he's too far back. You have to be up the line up above the three-point line against Jelly Walker because any space, any open doors, he's going to make you pay. Brewer tries to attack for the Blazers, now back in the hands of Walker. Step back on Martin. Florida Atlantic runs. Boyd all the way to the rim, bothered by Buffett getting back on D. And it's funny, in talking to Coach May about playing against UAB, in transition here, you see K.J. Buffett with the block from behind. That's the guy that they're targeting tonight. They believe part of their success is not only score, slowing out Jelly Walker, but getting Buffett in foul trouble. It's a UAB team that's won 12 of 13. Walker guarded by Greenlee this time out. Walker splits the double, creates. Kick out, triple for Brewer, won't go, boarded by Boyd. That was the right play from Walker. He had six assists on yesterday, so he really did a nice job of having a nice floor game. John L. Davis hits the brakes, turns back for a tough bucket. so many different players that can score. I don't think we're going to have a 22 to 2 start tonight. Jemison called for the offensive foul on Golden. Nice job by Golden. Moving his feet. No cheap fouls. Those are the ones that Coach Kennedy wants Trey Jemison to stay away from those. Just pass the ball out. Go play pick and roll. Basically starring your role in and on that situation. He wasn't starting in his role. Greenlee hits the three Five to three start for Florida Atlantic the junior transfer from Minnesota We were nearly backcourt now. It's poked away. We really got a hand on it Rumor goes into the backcourt to get it Buffett in tight finds Walker. And Greenlee got away with a mistake. Once Jelly Walker passes the ball, you got to deny him the ball back. Jemison on the offensive glass spins out. Jemison gets it back, blocked by Golden. Really impressed with Golden. Had the huge block to finish off North Texas on yesterday. 
Jemison gets the block on Davis. Walker pulls up, draws the foul. Walker in the open floor. So a lot of times, you know, you miss a shot, you got to stick with it, box out on the weak side. Golden is really active inside, and look at him. He never quits on the play. He was on the floor yesterday, remember? Yes. Got up off the floor and blocked a critical shot at the end of the game. Walker gets two after the foul on Boyd. Walker, who began his career at Seton Hall, then went to Tulane, and now at UAB. Last year's Conference USA Player of the Year. First team all conference USA this year. I was unabashed in his comments to Jimmy Dell after the game. Said, Yep. I wanted to prove something that I was the conference USA player of the year, and he did it with 32. And he said he loves the bright lights. The lights are bright tonight in this conference USA tournament final. And he's, he plays with no fear. Five early points for Walker. He has all five for UAB. Kick to the corner. Martin rattles home the three. And that one three one zone that UAB loved to utilize, it was a, it was effective for the most part on yesterday against North Texas. But this team, Florida Atlantic, they have too many offensive weapons. Gaines leaves it short. Owls on the run. Florida Atlantic made three of his last four. Martin behind the screen from Golden feeds Davis inside. Excellent offense. Ball movement. Davis cuts to the basket. And that's what happens when you have four guys on the floor that can all pass dribble and shoot. Walker misses in tight. Rebound by Golden. Greenlee with his eyes up. Gaffney. Gaines brings it back. Nice pass. Gaines, no look, finished off by Lovin. And here UAB is going back to the 1-3-1. A lot of times if you score on them in the 1-3-1, they'll maybe play man-to-man -man or 2-3 zone, but now they're back 1-3-1 to 2-3. Loose ball, taken away. Lob. Walker, there's the lob, and it's broken up. Gaines gets it back and gets fouled. Well, it started all Jelly Walker, but the Blazers are more than Jelly. They can run as far as NCAA at-large possibilities. You have two quad one wins. Jerry Palm right now projects Florida Atlantic as a 10 seed. Meaning that if Florida Atlantic were to lose this game, they would likely make it as an at-large. But you don't want to leave it in the selection committee's hands. And now, meanwhile, that also means for UAB, you have a bid stealing chance here for the UAB Blazers. So the bubble teams are rooting hard for Florida Atlantic. Yeah, you have some teams that are really nervous right now watching this game. Taken away, Gaines, and one. Eric Gaines, a sophomore point guard who played great in UAB's win over Florida Atlantic. Gaines is just a solid player. Does a nice job when Jelly Walker needs to get off the ball. 7 straight for UAB. Yeah, UAB is on the 7-0 run here. This is going to be, I believe, a high-scoring game. We got the number one and number two teams in scoring in the conference. These guys, both of these teams put the ball in the basket. So this is not going to be a, a jog. This is going to be a, a sprint. These guys, both of these teams have so many different ways that they can score the ball. Sure enough, you get the backup center, Giancarlo Rosado, into the game, get right to him, and he earns a trip to the free throw line. So the depth of Florida Atlantic is just impressive. 
Rosado gets the first of two. So the most wins to miss the tournament, 28. Meaning Florida Atlantic right now sitting at 30 wins. No team has ever won 30 games and missed the NCAA tournament. It's not going to start this year. <laughs> I, I love Coach May's message to his team. Intense, together, and be active. And he said everything will take care of itself. March habit since the beginning of the season, and now here we are. Good look from Davis, but a bad miss from Tony. Javon Davis was a solid performer coming off the bench in their last game with 11 points. He was just playing out of the post. We'll see if they can get him involved early. Walker high off the window. Missed it, boarded by Boyd. Sprinting into the front court. Great job by UAB with their transition defense. Forrest into the paint, nice back cut. Dump it off Rosado, can't finish at the rim. Boarded by Buffin. Yeah, that's the Buffin effect inside. Very good position player in terms of knowing how to guard his man one-on-one -on -one while helping his teammates from the weak side. Gaines missed the floater. Five on four here for Florida Atlantic. Couldn't take advantage of it. Forrest, he misses the floater. Boyd blocked from behind. Walker misses again. That's five straight misses for Walker. And on the other end, Boyd finally finishes it off. End to end, and Nick Boyd finally finishes. Yeah, and that was one of the rare times that Jelly Walker was driving the ball, trying to get fouled instead of going up to just finish the shot. He was trying to draw a foul that time, and it was unsuccessful. Gaines misses the floater. Boyd runs the Owls. Boyd left alone all the way to the rim. See, Rosado made that play because he's such a really good high post player. We talked about it, you know, more that Boris Diaw type of a point five dribble handoff, quick pitches, excellent passer. Into Davis in the post. Digging down Weatherspoon. Knocked it out. Weatherspoon d it up. Back and forth we go. Florida Atlantic by three. And Jordan Walker has missed five straight. And give Florida Atlantic's defense credit. She always sees two bodies. Nice job here. Going straight up. Vertical. No foul. They don't want to bail him out. They talk... Florida Atlantic also talked about when he shoots his threes, he loves to kick his left foot out. So you want to avoid the foul with the left foot kicking out. Yep, because that'll be three free throws on the three-point attempt. Davis has it poked away, and then Davis gets it right back. John L. Davis into the paint. Those are the unforced errors that's real painful. Offensive rebounds and, you know, unforced errors are critical. And UAB struggled to score in the last three minutes. Ending a 7-0 FAU run. Oh. Buffett left it short, boarded by Golden. Boyd oh. brings it back for the Owls. Remember with UAB, when Jelly Walker's out of the lineup, where are they going to get some offense? They struggle when he's on the bench. Weatherspoon buries the three. Largest lead for Florida Atlantic. They trailed 12-10 since then, 10 straight points. 
Witherspoon was an outstanding scorer in high school at Canton, Mississippi. Ooh, he can he can fill it up now. He comes from a family of scorers. His brother Kaderi and Nick also played at Mississippi State. Darius Brewer off the window to end that run for FAU. Martin off the window. Elijah Martin using that big frame to get to the rim. Hey, we're not playing no defense, bro. Coach Kennedy talked about, you know, taking care of the ball and rebounding the basketball. That John L. Davis cut off. Poked away. Martin has to come back to get it. It was touched. So no backcourt. He noticed it was poor spacing. Boyd. Martin left alone. 4-3. Elijah Martin buries the triple. Timeout UAB. It's a 15-2 Florida Atlantic run to take. But the breakdown was on the pick and roll coverage when you have a breakdown in pick and roll coverage and you have two or three guys out of place then you can play two on one on the back side there was only one defender guarding two guys and that's how you generate really good offense and no surprise out of the timeout walker back in the game for uab and walker heaves and hits wasting no time another mistake on a guy who thought he should have been Conference USA Player of the Year. This is going to be what we call a pick and roll fest festival. <laughs> Boyd poked from behind. Gets the dribble back, finds Martin again. Davis pulls it out and finds Martin in the corner for three. Rosado rejected by Jemison. Gonna count the basket. Golden. But you notice the activity from Florida Atlantic. Rosado inside. Could have been a block. I'd like to see that one again. Close. But you can't take chances. If you give up offensive rebounds, bad things happen. Brewer step back. Missed the three. Yeah, not a good shot. Boyd attacks. Traveled. Florida Atlantic has a double digit lead. They withstood the early run from UAB. Tell you what, you look at the rebounding advantages plus eight Florida Atlantic. That tells the story as much as the scoreboard does. And let, let me break it down a little further. What Coach Kennedy is saying when he's saying we're not running offense, they need multiple passes, body movement, sprint to your spots, good spacing. Jelly Walker is the only one that has a green light to come off of a pick and roll early in transition and take a shot. The rest of the team, they have to move the ball to get in to some sort of offense. Out of the timeout, another Walker miss. Martin kicked at the corner. Forrest missed three, tap out. Good rebound for John L. Davis. And I, and I think that's the more alarming problem, offensive rebounds. Florida Atlantic's winning the rebound game by nine early to start this game. Gaines feet into the post, turn around. Brewer misses, Jemison tips it out. Gaines back into Jemison. Jemison off the window. Second chance bucket for UAB. And that's a plus when you go into Jemison inside, try to flatten out the defense. He was really composed, good for, footwork. Make sure to tune in to the 2023 Reese's College All-Star Game presented by Walmart on March 31st. 
live at 4.30 Eastern right here on CBS Sports Network. That ball called on Ty Brewer. That is his first. John L. Davis gets a break. In Florida Atlantic, they've just been dominant in the paint. They've outscored uh, UAB 14 to 6 here early in the game. Rosado with the high post. Trying to take Brewer off the bounce. Turn around. Boy. Giancarlo Rosado is a matchup problem. And see, that's why he's a compliment to Golden, the starting center. He's a guy that can put the ball on the floor. Golden doesn't have that capability. He can switch on pick and rolls. That was the big key to their win against UAB. Multiple pick and roll coverages. Walker rattles it home. Tough two. Don't you have the sense that Walker's probably going to have to go for 35 or more in this game to beat Florida Atlantic? Yes. Yes, I do. I think the Blazers have that same feeling. Jimison has the board. Walker lost the handle. And then Jimison called for the foul after Martin scoops it up. Tough second foul on Trey Jimison. It was 50-50 balls. You remember UAB talked a lot about that in their game against North Texas. They felt that North Texas get more loose balls than anybody in the country, and that's probably why they're the number one ranked uh, uh, defense in terms of uh, points allowed. Jemison takes a seat for UAB with the second personal. Martin in tight with a left. I'm so impressed with Martin. We talked about it in the open. He's a guy that plays above the rim, power player driving to the basket, but also capable of knocking down threes and shooting about 36% from the three-point shot with 57 on the year. Davis lost it in tight, but it's out of bounds off Florida Atlantic. And here's the story about UAB, it's 21 points. Walker has 10 points, the rest of the team have 11. And that's the way it's going to go. And their body language is not good. It's not always about spoken language, it's body language, the nonverbal. Walker misses the three off the end down, buffing on the offensive glass. UAB needs Buffett inside. Foul called after Golden secures the rebound. And we just talked about it a few minutes ago, how Florida Atlantic is outscoring UAB in the paint, and that's a prime example. Buffett was unsuccessful on that layup. Got to make those little chippies. Take some pressure off of Jelly Walker. Gaffney to UConn transfer and to Golden. Golden banging and he miss. Good defense from Davis. Outstanding defense from Davis. Gaines pulls up for three. Over the back. So as we take a look at Vladislav Golden, spent his freshman year at Texas Tech. Third team all conference USA. And he brings a physical presence when he's on the floor. Our Reese's player profile. It's pretty interesting with him transferring from Texas Tech. I had Tech last year in the NCAA tournament. And man, you go from what a sweet 16 team right now to coaching change. It just shows you, man. You just never know. Can't take anything for granted. There's Golden on the offensive glass. That's one of the things when you drive as far as did, you don't want to get your shot blocked. That was basically like a pass. You don't call it in the sense. <laughs> but get that ball up even if you don't make it. Largest lead of the game for Florida Atlantic. 
Brewer hits the mid-range jumper. Bring it back to 10. Games like this, if you're up, can you handle prosperity and stay away from silly turnovers? If you're down, are you gonna be able to fight through adversity and string together a couple of good possessions in a row to stay within single digits? Woo. Davis from the baseline, nifty move. Davis said, no, I wanna keep this double digit lead. Boy, look at Golden getting out there on that pick and roll. Brewer missed the three, boarded by Gaffney. A lot of the mistakes that Florida Atlantic made on a couple of possessions against Walker, they're not making them, but they're making their drives. Forrest gets to the rim. Timeout UAB, Florida Atlantic roll. Yeah, Florida Atlantic is looking like the best. Elijah Martin in just 12 minutes has 10 points for Florida Atlantic. Yeah, and he's just a guy, you got to keep your eyes on him at all times. He can knock down threes. Here, spaces the floor, slides to the right spot. It's not always about getting a shot, but sliding to the right spot. That's what veteran experienced players do. Very disciplined team on offense. Loose ball on the ground. Who wants it? Taken by John L. Davis. Davis hit the deck, brought it back, and then Gaines. Euros his way in. Gaines stepping around Martin. That's a tough finish for Gaines. Yeah, Gaines. UAB needs some good news, some easy baskets. Floyd Atlantic didn't capitalize on that fast break. Play on, Martin in the corner. Martin again. Give him 13 for the first team all-conference USA performer, Elijah Martin. And we showed him coming out of the break. He's playing at a very high level. Maybe he's gonna have to adjust defensively on how he defend Martin. <laughs> One of the things you don't want to do is fall down for the closeout. Right. Davis blocked by Golden. Unlike yesterday when Davis really punished North Texas inside, this is a different guy. Golden is 7 1. You got to move him around. You can't just shoot over him. You can imagine when Golden holds up his hands, he's like 7 8. Right. Tomorrow at noon Eastern, don't miss the Women's Patriot League title game as Holy Cross and Boston University compete for a chance at the big stage right here on CBS Sports Network. John L. Davis to the free throw line, first team All-Conference USA. Sophomore from Gary, Indiana gets the first of two. Dusty May, who's a semifinalist for the Naismith Coach of the Year. It seems like Florida Atlantic, our Jerry Palm, said they're in the tournament. But they seem like they're playing like they're the more desperate team. Like, this game is win or go, go home. We'll see if in this last minute or so if UAB can generate some offense. Walker three, missed into the hands of Martin. Elijah Martin runs Florida Atlantic, takes a bump from Eric Gaines. And you know what I love about that play? They were actually trying to execute a two for one. A lot of teams, especially on the college level, they would maybe walk the ball up the court, run the clock down, but this is an experienced group. Eight out of nine guys returned from last year. Excellent continuity. And you can build on that continuity and chemistry with special situations like two for ones. So now they're going to get the ball back. Martin misses the front end. 
However, in tight. Oh. When I said they were going to get the ball back, I didn't think it was going to be Maybe that quick. <laughs> Fouls on Brewer, sending Davis to the free throw line. Even better than a two for one. Yeah, right. And that's one of the worst things I've said in this coach's shoes before, and you've talked about it over and over again, boxing out on the free throw line. No second shots in all places on the free throw line, and, and it tends to show up. Davis gets them both. Walker brings it up for UAB. Brewer on the wing. Brewer trying to attack on Davis, and he hits a tough two. Yeah, but if you notice, did you really see what I saw? Florida Atlantic basically had three against one. They sent three guys, not only the guy that's defending Jelly Walker, they brought two additional defenders. Davis on the run, gets to the rim. Florida Atlantic... A dominant first half, 46 to 27 on UAB. Florida Atlantic 24 and 1 when leading at halftime this season. Yeah, John Darrell Davis. To start playing with pride. He said Florida Atlantic is playing at a completely different speed. He gave the Blazers a six and the Owls playing at an eight. Guys, I asked him how he could get Jelly going. He said, Jelly has to get Jelly going. He said, all it'll take is three or four points. Well, the automatic bid in the NCAA tournament is on the line. A Florida Atlantic team who feels like they are in as an at-large. But they're playing like a team on a mission. Martin gets the hammer dunk off the golden miss. And I'm going to meet AK coach Andy Kennedy halfway. Jelly has to get Jelly going, but he's going to need some help from his teammates. And that help comes from not allowing offensive rebound putbacks. Gaines misses in tight. Boyd. Fight for the rebound. One by Buffin for UAB. And Florida Atlantic was dominant on the glass at the half. 27 to 15. And then Buffin turns it over. I think Elijah Martin wants to be in. Maybe some postseason dunk contest or something. Now here's Martin on the perimeter. And part of discipline is not just staying down on a pump fake, but boxing out, so rebounding the ball. Now look at this. You see there were five guys back against Jelly Walker. Makes it tough. Gaines off the shot fake. Gaines gets to the rim. Martin on the other end draws a foul. Eric Gaines said, Elijah Martin, if you can take the elevator to the top floor, I can take it to the penthouse. Wow. And he climbed over a mountain with Golden. Golden didn't want to jump on that one. <laughs> Just let him go. And that's one of the things we talked about. Both of these teams, you know, they're in Conference USA, but these teams can compete anywhere. Really well coached teams. You know, Jelly Walker, he, he's an outstanding player any day of the week, any conference, whatever the competition is, and in the depth, as we've been talking about with Florida Atlantic, this team, they're a bunch of professionals. Those guys is, know exactly what they're doing. It's never... Here's Gaines again. 
Kick out, triple from Brewer. Count it. And a foul. And that's what we've been talking about with UAB. Somebody else not named Jordan Walker to the rescue. Nice pivot and pass. Davis gets the foul and Brewer a chance to close out the four point play. And Brewer's a capable three point shooter. Not more of a low volume three point shooter, but he's shooting, you know, 38% from threes. 15 for 39 coming into this game. Can UAB make a charge? Florida Atlantic's been dominant here in the CUSA championship game. Now it seems like they wanted to get, wanted to switch with Jelly Walker to try to attack him so he won't rest on defense. Jemison gets the block, sending Gaines and the Blazers on the run. Kick back, there's Walker in transition. Martin clears it. Good look for Walker. Hasn't scored in over eight minutes. And that was one of the situations where Walker teammates created a wide open shot for him. He's got to knock those down. Golden misses the dunk. Trying to feed inside to Jemison. Davis gets the steal. Golden is open. They missed him. Martin left alone for three. Boarded by Boyd. Davis left alone for three. Boy, UAB got lucky that time. Two rhythm three-point shots that didn't go down for Florida Atlantic because of offensive rebounding. Gaines sets up the Blazers. Gaines takes it. Strong rebound, but it ends up in the hands of the Owls. Boyd crossing over. Count the bucket. Gaines calls for the goal 10. Yeah, unfortunately, a struggle, Carter, for UAB offensively. It's really a struggle because Florida Atlantic they've eliminated UAB's post-up game. I mean, eliminated it. That time, Jemerson came out, played pick and roll, which is the right thing to do, but they cannot generate any offense in the post. Their centers are combined for two points. Here's Jemerson again, backing in on Rosado. Guys go to the hook. And has to hit the tough two, but and they're an outside-in team. It's Jelly Walker from the outside, the big centers in the inside, so that's that's their game. They're gonna need a few more of those to go down. Greenlee misses the floater, Jemison has the board. Can UAB make a push? Walker, floater, no. Cleared by Rosado. It just seems like Walker, who's an out, just a terrific player, just doesn't have that energy and spark as he did playing against North Texas and Tyler Perry on yesterday. What do you think? I think he had something to prove yesterday. Against Tyler Perry, and you have to give Florida Atlantic some credit for defending Walker tonight, right? Yep. And rebounding the ball. Tough rebound from Davis. Yeah, someone's going to be going dancing after this game. Florida Atlantic trying to close out a historic season. With the Conference USA Championship, it would be their first Conference USA Championship. Only the second trip to the NCAA Tournament in Florida Atlantic basketball history. Last year, UAB won the CUSA Tournament. Five-time Conference USA champs, the Blazers. 
But too much John L. Davis and the Owls. And, and you remember when Coach Andy Kennedy talked about they need to run better offense? That's that's extraordinary. Ex excellent offense by Florida Atlantic. The ball movement, the body movement, attacking the middle of the floor. Brewer misses in tight for UAB. Blazers shooting just 30% in the game. And while we were talking about Jelly Walker coming into this game, UAB, they're going to figure out how to solve Darnell Davis. He's just been doing it all tonight. 16 points. He only has one foul. Gaines trying to do it himself draws a foul. So as you take a look at the last four in, first four out, this is the bubble teams that are rooting for Florida Atlantic right now because UAB would be a bid stealer. So please right now to see Florida Atlantic in command here in Conference USA. Vanderbilt looked like they were going to try to be a, a bid stealer, but they came up short against Texas A&M. Not one of their best games, Coach Jerry Stackhouse. Got a potential bid stealer in the Big Ten with Penn State as well. Florida Atlantic methodical. Gaffney attacks. Gaffney draws a foul on the way to the rim. The UConn transfer Jalen Gaffney gets to the free throw line. And one of the things when you're talking to Coach Dusty May, he talked about that his team is a special group. He didn't bring up, he never brings up one player on his team. He just talks about the team, the group, the work ethic, the character. CBS Sports celebrates Women's History Month, recognizing the outstanding contributions women and girls have made on and off the field of play. And it's really amazing, the Florida Atlantic's defense in the two games where they've played UAB. UAB, in both the win and the loss, scored 86 points. And they're four behind 86 points right now. They're, they're significantly behind. Walker hits a three. They'll need a whole lot more of that to come back against Florida Atlantic. First points in over 13 minutes for Jordan Walker. Gaffney can't answer. The ball continues to find the open man for Florida Atlantic. Walker tries another three. Tap out is going to... Give it back to Florida Atlantic. So nice little three here by Walker. Big guy. He's a little too far back. Rosado they committed two of those early mistakes with their pick and roll defense early in the game. We'll see how, how they adjust going forward. UAB trying to turn up the defensive pressure. Wow. Yeah, that lob was just a little bit too much for Martin. Yeah, but that was a set play. That was a set play. He was a little bit happy on this toss because Elijah, was, he was so wide open, Elijah Martin, in that situation. And, in, and really, all you really need to do is try to miss the shot to the left side of the rim. Sometimes players think they want to... It's not really a lob, it's just... A miss shot. Three planks out for Brewer. UAB four for 19 from three. And on the other end, Elijah Martin. Martin and Davis have carried the load for Florida Atlantic. It just seems like Martin is playing with another gear that he has the strongest motor on the court today. 
look at him. Loose balls. Gets into Jelly Martin with the foul. Elijah Martin and the Owls shooting their way towards the NCAA. Coach May, he's thanked all the fans for their support and creating a real home environment here in Texas. Yeah, they have been loud. Hoping to celebrate with their Florida Atlantic Owls in its Conference USA Championship. Closing in just 11.30 away. Offensive foul. Drawn by Gaines. Gaffney called for the offensive foul. Yeah, one of the rare mistakes that Florida Atlantic has made tonight. Good position defensively. Gaffney. They've only fouled five times. They only have five personal fouls. That's amazing. <laughs> Gaines missed three. Alzado has the rebound. Alzado looking for Martin, has it poked away. Weatherspoon has to come help out and takes it right at Jemison. Bothered into a bad shot. And then Gaffney commits a foul. Bad sequence there for Florida Atlantic. It just seems like Florida Atlantic's getting all the loose balls. Nice piece in the athletic about Dusty May and his days back at Indiana. Always knew he wanted to be a coach. And he's the Conference USA Coach of the Year, semifinalist for Naismith Coach of the Year. Drawing attention from all around college basketball with the job he's done with this year's Owls. And I think his best coaching job this year was making sure that eight of his nine players return. You gotta recruit your own players. Which is not easy in today's day and age, is it? Not easy at all with the transfer order. Martin takes a ball, play on. Jemison has the rebound. He said, but his team, they all love each other. They want to be around each other. They spend a lot of time off the court. Gains and one. Count the bucket. The foul on Golden. Nice split here on the defense. Golden was late. If you're late, that's not going to bode well for you. Nice attack by Gaines and playing through contact. And if you're in this situation, here's the good news for UAB. You have one of the top coaches. We obviously, Coach Bay is Conference USA Coach of the Year. But let me tell you something. If you want to be in this situation 16 now, you want to have Andy Kennedy on your team, on the sideline as your head coach. Remember, he's one of, you know, six, six active coaches with 20 wins. And his 12 is his first 15 seasons, along with guys like Mark Few and John Calipari. This guy knows how to coach. Well, Jordan Jelly Walker so far denied a quiet 13 points on 4 of 16 shooting after tremendous performances in the quarterfinals and especially the semifinal win over North Texas with 32. Meanwhile, Jimison gets his fourth for UAB. So and, JV and Davis will have to play big minutes. And here's what I think is going to happen. Now that Jimerson is coming out, Davis is back in. I, I believe UAB is going to give Davis a few minutes here. And if it doesn't work, you'll see Buffin finish at five, trying to split, spread the floor with five three-point shooters. Because otherwise, you're going to just run out of time. Buffin tries a three. Boyd and Florida Atlantic in command. Oh, 
Boyd attacks. Buffin gets the block. That was probably one of the disappointing possessions for Florida Atlantic. The ball didn't find Davis. He had the better matchup in that situation. Golden gets the block. Tracks it down, keeps it alive, and then Buffin commits the foul. Tomorrow at 4 Eastern, get ready to hit the dirt for the toughest eight seconds in sports as the world's top bull riders head to the Bruce City Classic in Wisconsin. Don't miss PBR Unleash the Beast here on CBS Sports Network. And see, because they're up by 17, obviously Jelly Walker's back in, but now Florida Atlantic has the luxury of giving Elijah Martin a couple of minutes break. Buffin just got his fourth for UAB, so it's getting tough to figure out. Yeah, the last two possessions are kind of uncharacteristic of Florida Atlantic's night tonight. Buffin and Jemison both with four. That's big. Huge, especially Buffin. Walker on the baseline. Long two. Walker's got to get going here. Uh, that's an understatement. Try to get some deflection steals. They cannot afford to give up, allow any offensive rebounds. Davis attacks off the wing, stripped away. Lovin has it. Foul called. Boyd reaching in on Lovin while he's on the deck. And that's what we were talking about. Lovin falls down. Could have been a foul, but Davis lost the ball. He tried to call timeout. Even though it's eight minutes to go in the game, it's still time, but it just feels like UAB's got to string together a couple of possessions. Game's trying to fly to the hoop again. Owls bring it back. And Florida Atlantic, the last three possessions will come up empty. We'll see if they can at least get a shot at the basket. Gaffney attacks and earns a trip to the free throw line. A frustrating night continues for UAB. Games just couldn't quite. He's in champion number one seed here in the championship game. Taking command from UAB from the get-go. And now 740 away from dancing into the tournament for the first time since 2002. Dusty May, during his five seasons at Florida Atlantic, has methodically built this team into... Now can we say one of college basketball's best at 30 and 3. And as Coach May talked about the Coach of the Year award in Conference USA, it's not just his award or his players. It's his assistant coaches. Those guys, they put in a lot of work. And a lot of times they're spending more time with the players than the head coach. The head coach has other responsibilities, media, He's, he's got a lot, a lot of responsibilities on campus, dealing with donors and the board of directors, the president. He's got to be a lot of different places at, at one time. So those assistant coaches, and if you got a really good staff like he has, um, they take a lot of pressure off Coach May. Just give credit to Kyle Church, Todd Abernathy, Drew Williamson, the rest of the Florida Atlantic staff for getting the Owls to this point as well. And, and it's easy to just pile on when a team is struggling, but I've coached also against a lot of the UAB assistants, you know, Ryan Cross and Philip Pearson and Terry Parker, another outstanding staff. Davis in tight, draws a foul. On JV and Davis, as we take a look at the projected number one seats, Purdue gets to play in the Big Ten championship game tomorrow against Penn State. Houston has been pointed to from the get go as perhaps the favorite to win it all this year. Yeah, I believe Marcus Sasser got injured. 
today. That's not good news. The best player on the University of Houston team. Texas got a huge win to win the for Big 12 Conference Tournament over Kansas. Rodney, Perry, Rodney Terry. Wow. What an incredible coaching job. Oh, my gosh. Walker trying to get something going for UAB. Feeds inside for Jemison. Foul called on Golden. UAB team who's won 12 of 13. The only loss during that stretch, double overtime to North Texas. Split the regular season with Florida Atlantic. One of only two teams to defeat the Owls during Conference USA play. But here on the neutral court, Florida Atlantic has been in command since the get-go. And right now, Elijah Martin is riding the bike. He's staying loose. He's not even on the bench. Gaffney. See him in that back left hand corner back there. This guy's just been terrific. Look like he's going to be inserted back into the game now. Martin's gone for 19 with eight rebounds as well. First team all conference USA performer showed up big in the championship. Look for UAB to try to get the ball. But that play was for Jelly Walker to come out of the left corner on a dribble handoff. Davis broke it up. You, you, you don't want to slow the game down and start trying to play the score, but you're telling your team quality shots late in the shot clock even if we don't score can be very effective like this player perfect well that's perfectly executed offense isn't it perfectly executed nothing easy defensively for uab and i think you gonna that's going to be the recipe for success the rest of this game for florida atlantic you can take a quick fast break layup if you don't have it they'll run it Rosado gives it up. Brewer scoops it, and Brewer, tough finish. But Brewer in the open floor, that's a nice finish. That was an excellent finish. Moved the ball around in the air. Stayed focused on the basket and the defender at the same time. Wonder why Rosado is away from the basket. That's part of Florida Atlantic's offense. Martin step back for three. Elijah Martin carrying Florida Atlantic. Yeah. Martin just has a bounce in his step tonight and a focus. Walker misses the tough two. Brewer lost it on the way up. Bad offensive trip for UAB. Yep, UAB is, unless there's a miracle, and I believe in miracles, <laughs> they're looking like they're going to be running out of time. Florida Atlantic is just too good tonight. These two teams play 10 games, probably we would split 5-5, but you don't play 10 games in the college season. Martin on the offensive glass. 24 now for Martin. 
very beginning, it was going to be Davis and Martin carrying the way for Florida Atlantic. Jordan Walker was going to have to have a tremendous night to carry UAB. Hasn't happened yet. Yes, yeah, two against one, and we talked about it even before the game. We thought Jerry Walker would have to go north of 30 points for UAB to have a chance. And as you dissect and diagnose this game and you look at this stat sheet, Elijah Martin is 5 for 10 from 3. UAB has only made four threes. They're four for 23. They missed a lot in tight as well. And they weren't able to secure enough for their missed shots in terms of offensive rebounds. Florida Atlantic is winning the rebound game by 15. Well, Florida Atlantic is going to be a popular pick for March upsets as Elijah Martin gets to the rim. I mean, this is a team since they won at Florida. The college basketball has had their eye on as a potential dangerous team in March. And here it is on the verge of an automatic bid in CUSA ahead of Selection Sunday. Florida Atlantic's going to put a charge into some brackets. And we've watched Florida Atlantic for two games. You know, the game against Middle Tennessee and now against a outstanding UAB team, their game travels well. This team can win on a neutral court. I would not want to play Florida Atlantic in the first round. Elijah Martin has scored the last nine points. They were a 15 seed, giving Alabama all they could handle, but the Crimson Tide emerged victorious in this one. 86 to 78. And if you look at where Jerry Palm projects Florida Atlantic to be this year as a 10 seed, you will have a much better opportunity for a March NCAA tournament win for this year's out. And it happens every year. You're going to have some upsets. And whatever region Florida Atlantic is in, I'm not going to be surprised if we wake up or look up one afternoon or night and see that Florida Atlantic is upset a higher speed. It's not going to be a surprise. This team is well constructed. They built this team to play in March. They talk a lot about, we've heard the two words from there, from Coach May consistently, March habits. <laughs> Elijah Martin's March habits. 30 now for Elijah Martin. Well, I believe we're looking at the MVP of the Conference USA Tournament. I think anybody can see that, right? Give him 10 rebounds as well. Walker hits the three. And this is one of the situations, and you, you feel bad for UAB because this is not their best game. They picked the wrong time of the year after coming into Conference USA with a ton of momentum and they picked the wrong night to have their arguably their worst game in the last 20 plus games. Walker's just going to keep shooting. But it's Florida Atlantic closing in. A minute 25 away from the automatic bid from Conference USA. And a lot of times you always want to find a reason why a team isn't playing their best ball or having their best game. All the credit needs to go to Florida Atlantic. They've dominated this game from start to finish. Golden with the dunk. And the bubble teams of America celebrate as Florida Atlantic is 58 seconds away. So these are the posts. Saying it gets a chance to empty the bench, play guys who normally don't play. That's a part of the scout team. These are the guys that help the team get ready for games. So in the last minute, starters out for both sides.
<laughs> What's going to happen is one of the guys on the scout team, Trey Carroll or Isaiah Gaines, they make a shot. The bench is going to go crazy. Shot clock winding down here as the seconds take away. Gaffney takes the three. Not for Gaffney. He's in the rotation. <laughs> Tony brings it back for UAB. Five seconds. Tony gets the bucket. But Florida Atlantic will inbound. And the Florida Atlantic Owls, as champions of Conference USA, are headed to the big dance. Into the madness, officially, for the Florida...